Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Did you know that you could set up Lightroom so it will monitor a specific folder anywhere on your computer? And whenever you drop images in that folder, Lightroom will auto import them without you doing anything. It's a hidden feature of Lightroom. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. All right, we're gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna show you how to set up auto import in Lightroom. I'm in Lightroom now, I'm in the library module. I'm gonna go up to file and down to auto import and auto import settings. So we're gonna go right there. And then what, you're, what will happen is this dialog box will come up and you need to choose a folder that you want Lightroom to monitor. And that's at the very top. So I'm gonna choose a folder and actually, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm just going to call it Pending Stock Images. And I'll click Create. And we're going to choose that folder. So that is our uh, folder that Lightroom is going to continually monitor. And whenever I drop images into it, Lightroom will automatically import them. Where do I want to put them? Well, I have a very specific folder in my Lightroom library for my stock images, so I'm going to choose that. So I'm going to go uh, right to Lightroom, and I'm going to find my stock folder, stock image folder, and I just passed it, and there it is right there. So I want it to go in stock photos. That's where I want to put it. Now we have uh, some uh, options we could do as we're importing the images. Do you want to add them to a collection? If you do, you would check this box and then choose which collection you want to add them to. You also could create a new collection, but I'm not going to do that. You also could rename them. If you leave it at file name, it will leave the original file name, or you could rename them in any of the normal naming sequences or naming uh, ways that are available in the export module. Uh, so I'm just going to leave the original file name. And then do you want to add a preset to it? Those are develop settings. So if you have any presets that you want to get applied to the image, these are develop presets. You could do that as well. I'm not going to. Do you have any metadata presets that you apply to your imports? For example, I have one that I call import preset, and that will apply to every image that I import into Lightroom. It will apply uh, all my copyright info and my name, address, all that stuff. Now these are stock images, and these are stock images that I didn't create, so they're not mine. So I will not be adding my import preset, meaning I'm not going to put my copyright on someone else's image. Now, uh, keywords, do you want to always add keywords to these images? Now remember, this is going to be global. So uh, you know, every time you add images to this folder, uh, all this is going to get done to it uh, every single time. Uh, so in this case, um, I'm not going to add any keywords. In the previews, I'm going to have it uh, create standard previews for each of those um, images. And also at the very top, I'm just going to automatically uh, click right there, enable auto import so that it's turned on. So we'll click OK. So now auto import is functioning. I don't have any images in that folder yet, obviously, because I just created it. So what we'll do is I'm going to close Lightroom right down. And once it closes, I have on my desktop uh, six stock images. And here is that folder we just created. Pending stock images is what I called it, of course. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take these six stock images and we're going to drag them into that folder. This is the folder now that Lightroom is monitoring. And what we're going to do now is we'll open Lightroom. And once it opens, you'll see that it's going to know now that there are images in that folder and it will automatically import them. Now you can see right here, building standard previews, it automatically imported those images in the background. And if we go now to this folder, what you'll notice is they're gone. It moved them into our uh, 
folder that we specified, which in my case is the folder that I call stock photos that is in my Lightroom library. And <clears throat> very easy to do, very fast. You didn't even know it was done. Uh, so if I, if I, you know, one thing I should say is you could see stock photos. What it does do, it creates a folder, imp uh, auto imported photos in that folder. So you could see there it is right there. There are the six images. Now, if I don't want that, if I want them with in the regular stock photos um, folder, all I need to do is select them all down here in the film strip, click on the first one, hold the shift key down and click on the last one, and then just drag them into that main folder, stock photos. And now it moves them. Now you see that auto imported photos folder is now empty and they're in the main folder. There's somewhere in there. There's a lot of images in that folder. So um, real easy. I mean, if you just want to keep them in auto imported photos and then distribute them to different folders, you could do that as well. For me, this works really well. Um, Lightroom says, I'm not sure how this does, that auto importing works very well if your camera isn't supported for tethering, meaning many times, especially in the studio, we like to shoot tethered. So when we take a photo, the photo will show up in Lightroom and we could view it on the monitor. Many times photographers like to view it on a very large display as they're taking their photos. And the model could see it, uh, your makeup and hair person uh, could see it, makeup and hair persons, uh, fashion people, whoever else is there that needs to be involved in the photo shoot could see the image automatically. They don't have to look at it on the back of your camera. And Lightroom claims that auto import if your camera isn't supported by tethering, you could use, they said, the camera software uh, to have the images automatically go to a specific folder and have Lightroom monitor that folder, and they'll show up in that auto-imported folders folder, and you could view them. I'm not sure how that works. I've never done it, but keep that in mind because Lightroom says that that uh, is one of the features of auto-import. So that's it, another hidden feature of Lightroom auto import. I hope that helps you and I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.